Right guys, we got some more media and SNP hypocrisy here. You all might be aware of the new anti-free speech laws coming up in Scotland and the low-life tosspot Hamza Youssef who is bringing them in. What some might not be aware of because the media have essentially ignored it is the Scottish Justice Secretary tweeting condolences to a known criminal. But not just any criminal, a gun-toting gangland crime figure. So, one of the nice ones. Obviously, the tweet was quickly deleted because the SNP knew they would get called out. Unfortunately, I cannot find an archive of the tweet, but the Scottish Sun reported on it. Now can you imagine for a moment if one of Boris Johnson's ministers had tweeted this about a known criminal? If the Home Secretary Priti Patel or Justice Sec Robert Butland had tweeted out in support of a murdered criminal, the BBC, Sky News and Labour would be demanding they resign from the government instantly and would be banging on about it for weeks like we saw with the Dominic Cummings situation when he went up to Durham. Of course, it being the Scottish Vassalage Party, there is complete radio silence from the scumbags at the BBC. Now I won't bother reading through the whole article as most of it talks about the guy who was killed which is not really that important when covering this story. We're more interested in the SNP. But like I said, only the Scottish Sun picked up on this with the headline. Tweet gaff. Hamza Youssef blasted after deleting tweet mourning slain gangland figure Omar Sadiq. Or Omar Sadiq whatever his name is it doesn't really matter. Justice Secretary Hamza Youssef was slammed over a tweet mourning slain gangland figure Omar Sadiq, which was later deleted. The Nats minister offered his condolences to the murdered Hood 32 in a bizarre tweet hours after the savage knife attack in Glasgow on Tuesday afternoon. Now, I do have to take issue with something that was said there. The Nats minister, this guy, is not a nationalist in any sense of the word. They are the Scottish Vassalage Party. I've already said it. The Liberal Democrats are about as nationalist as the SNP at this point. It comes as sources claim Sadiq was lured into a trap before being ambushed and stabbed to death. Insiders told how Sadiq was jailed for his role in a brutal gangland feud, agreed to meet in with a trusted associate on the day he was attacked. We told how the stricken victim was found bleeding to death on a street in the MSP's Pollock constituency in Glasgow. Cops have revealed he was found seriously injured by passing officers who were flagged down. He died soon afterwards in the city's Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. Mr Youssef wrote, Dreadfully sad news. My thoughts are with the young man's family, friends and local community. The post was later deleted and the politician was sent scores of messages urging him to apologise amid a huge backlash. And I love how they say the post was later deleted. It weren't later deleted, it was deleted within like a couple of minutes because obviously he knew exactly what he was doing. He is the Justice Secretary, he is privy to a lot more information than we are, much like the media. So I really ain't buying it that he didn't know who he was tweeting about. I fully expect that he was tweeting in support of this guy. Scottish Conservative Shadow Justice Secretary Liam Kerr said the fact the tweet was hastily deleted proves the error made in posting it. People will expect someone in the Justice Secretary's position to show more patience and judgment before rushing to tweet. Well no, you have to remember that these politicians all believe the world revolves around Twitter. They think that is actual real life. That is how they base most of their policies on, not just north of the border, down south as well. It continues, many might wonder whether if the Justice Secretary spent a little less time on social media and a little more time focused on his brief, he might be less prone to the errors they've seen made all too often recently. Which yeah, maybe if they spent a lot less time worrying about stupid hate crime laws then they would actually be able to catch some of these criminals and Glasgow and places like that wouldn't be such an utter shit show. I mean, last I checked, Scotland was the drug death capital of the world which really says it all. Well done to the SNP on that one. Now, the rest of the article essentially goes over what crimes this guy's apparently committed and his gangland connections. I don't particularly care about that. But we do have a Scottish government spokesman here who has tried to cover up for Hamza Youssef's cock up. A Scottish government spokesman said Mr Youssef was responding to the incident that took place in his constituency as the local MSP and was not aware of the man who was fatally stabbed or his background when he initially posted. Which, okay, will be generous and maybe give you that. But being a minister, maybe he should take a few minutes to try and find out the details. And as the Justice Secretary, he could easily do that. He will have access to the police and they will give him the information, which to be honest, I think he had the information in advance. Let's be honest, he's going to be told if someone gets stabbed in his constituency. As a matter of fact, he'll probably get told if someone gets stabbed in Scotland in general, being the Justice Secretary. I could be wrong, but it would be my guess. So yeah, I'm really not buying that the SNP 
reckon he didn't know who he was talking about. I expect he fully knew 100%. I bet he wasn't that quick tweeting out condolences when the new SNP voters were stabbing people in the hotel up in Glasgow. I bet he waited for some actual information before opening his mouth on that. Now, before I do finish this video, I feel I need to point out something I said at the beginning. Where is the rest of the media, like the BBC and all the rest of them, that should be jumping on this like a bitch on E? As I said, if it was Boris Johnson or any of his ministers doing something like this, the shit would be hitting the fan right now. There would be 10,000 screaming lunatics on Twitter with the SNP, Lib Dems, Labour and everyone else demanding resignations and the rest of it. Yet here we sit with the Scottish Bachelage Party and its toss pot minister getting away with doing this shit that wouldn't be allowed if it was the other way around. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>